OK, so we're going to look now at some of the modified tools available to us in AutoCAD Mechanical 2010. So let's zoom in on these top two views here of our wheel. Now this wheel is a belt wheel, it's got some centre lines there as you can see, a main circle there which is our front view and we've also got a side view here that's not fully complete either. Now what we're going to do, there's two types of belt wheel. So we're going to do some offsets here and then we're going to look at doing some offsets here and then we're going to apply those offsets here so that people can see what's going on on the side view as well. OK, going to zoom in on the top left circle. So let's zoom in so that we can see a bit more what we're doing like that. Just roll up on the wheel on the mouse. Now, the good thing about AutoCAD Mechanical is you can put in multiple offset distances using what they call the pipe symbol on your keyboard. So we go to the Home tab here on the ribbon, the Modify panel, and then Offset there, like so. So we click on Offset and come into the drawing area. Now it prompts you to specify an offset distance. Now you can just type in one distance if you want to, but I'm going to put in four. Now watch, this is very clever. So I type in five, that's my first offset. Now the pipe symbol is shift and it's the slash symbol on a UK keyboard near the question mark. So you've got the question mark and the slash and it's the key to the right. So I hold down shift and then press the key to the right of the question mark and there's my pipe symbol. It's that vertical symbol. So I put in 22.4 now as the next offset. Again, another pipe symbol like that. And then 24, another pipe symbol, and then 39. Now these offsets are going from the object that you select to offset. So if I now press Enter, it now tells me to select the object to offset. That's going to be the outer circle like so. I then move inwards like that to specify the point on the side of the circle to offset. See the line coming in? Make sure you go inside your outer circle and click. And there's my offsets there. Press enter to finish, like so. So there's my 5 offset from here. There's my 22.4 offset from here. There's my 24 offset from here. And there's my 39 offset again from here. The overall radius of that circle is actually 50 millimeters. So we've got some offsets there now showing the front view of our wheel. Now what we need to look at now is doing some offsets here working with that. Now a lot of these offsets here on the side view are going to be hidden detail. So we go to our layer panel, mechanical layers here. And we've got some hidden detail. Where is it? We've got one there, hidden narrow or hidden wide. We want hidden narrow, that one there. Layer AM3, as you can see. Now, this is the very, very cool bit. When you go into offset here, like so, and come into the drawing area, if you right click and go to mode, now that is only in AutoCAD Mechanical. You would go to either layer or erase in a normal version of AutoCAD. I'm going to go for the current layer setting. So basically any offset I do will go onto the current layer, which is this AM3 layer. Now it's asking for an offset distance. Now, this is where I can be real clever. I've got a center line there that comes off the center of that circle. And I know what these offsets are, do I not? I also know that that little line there is, in essence, in line with my outer circle here. So, if I specify an offset distance of the same as I did before, remember, with the pipe symbol. So I type it in. So I go 5, like so, pipe symbol, 22.4 again, pipe symbol, 24, pipe symbol, and then 39 and then press enter. Select the object to offset. I select that line there and I move downwards in this direction. There's all my offsets in exactly the same places as the circles in the front view. So all I need to do now is extend those, do I not? 
Now, I'm not going to extend them in any which way, shape or form right now. But what I am going to do is I am going to exit by pressing enter the offset command. Let's zoom in on that view there. And you can see now that those offsets all line in. So that's how we offset objects in AutoCAD Mechanical. What I'm going to do in the next exercise is show you how to join these and basically tie all this in together and tweak it all using the modify commands so that we have a proper side view and front view of our belt wheel.